Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? Today is day 31, you guys, of the 100 Day Craft Project. It is Twisted Tool Tuesday. So thank you for joining me today. It's Tuesday, Twisted Tool Tuesday. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the stuff that I'm gonna be working with today. So I'll give out my beautiful blessings and we're going to just jump right in, you guys. Jump right in. It's a little bit of a continuation from last week, but I'm kind of combining some of my projects together to make a new project. <laughs> okay, so beautiful blessings to Kim Holloway, Michelle Burns, Linda Octavio, PJ Santin, and Gerelda Fernandez. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel. So I know you are all there. It's so kind of you to your comments, your kindness. It's it's well received and blessings to you. All right. Today I have, so let's see. Last week we did the painted um, fabric and we kind of made the tea towels, the French tea towels. So this is kind of a continuation and also just a spin off of that. Something, you know, something that I figured would be fun to do because it was well received. So I have some hemp here. I have some old fabric. You don't. You can use whatever you have. It's like a creamy colored, white colored, coffee colored, whatever you want. An old bed sheet. It doesn't matter. This has um, stains and rips in it, and it's also very, um, it's very stained up, and it's also very wrinkly. So I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm going to use it. I may, but I took it out. Okay. So. I also took out um, a little bit of ticking, I, and, and this is um, per recently purchased, so it's not vintage ticking. If you have vintage ticking, you can use that too. I do, but unfortunately not in red. I would love some vintage ticking in red. I have to keep my eyes open for that. I also have some um, ribbon that looks like ticking. I got this from Michael's. Um, I have some vintage hemp um, that I need to separate. It was like, looks like the top of a sheet. I just, I need to separate that because it's, it's much bigger, the piece of fabric than what it looks. I have some embossed pages. We've done that. So if you have some embossed pages left over, we're going to be using some of those. Um, I have some things we were working on yesterday on the Christmas page. So I have some of those. And I, and I have some book page and I have some um, rag paper. Now I went with all, if you can look, um, muted tones and the reds. Muted tones and, and then in the reds as well. All right, so I'm gonna move that out of the way and show you what else I have taken out. I've taken, I'm, I pulled out my laundry letters, uh, laundry numbers from from um, France. Now, last year we created these in the 100 Day Project. So if you don't have them, I did have a video. I will look for it and tag it below where you create your own laundry labels. And then I do have some laces here. Um, this lace is very old. It has some holes in it even. And I have some um, handmade um, lacing too as well. So I don't know what I'm using yet. I just took out my little box of stuff here. I love, isn't this a cute little box? I love this little box. Um, I got it vintage shopping. Okay, so then I also have my little doodad tray here with all my stuff. So most of this stuff, I've added to it, but some of it was from last year at the, um, I mean, of course I have added to it, I've used from it, but this was my tray from last year at Junkie Edition 1.0. I got it on my desk filled with all nice fun stuff. This is glitter, you guys. I have yet to open it. And then of course I've added my own my own stuff that I've been working with. Um, oh wow, look at these. I forgot I had these um, throughout, the, throughout the year. I have these little, um, I used to collect these when I went to thrifting. I want to say that they are old coins from Japan. Aren't they cool? I just figured I'd share them with you. I don't know if you could see the images on them. They're cool. I'll have to use them in my work one day. I mean, they're they're not worth anything in American dollars. I don't know. I don't know where I would use them. Okay. So then um, I also have, uh, I took this out, but I think I'm only going to use the grommets, the small 
grommets. So I think I will take those and then move this off my desk. Yeah, I just want the small grommets. And you know what? Maybe I'll take these letters too. If you, in case you guys have this old scrapbooking stuff, they're old letters and numbers from scrapbooking. Okay. Um, let's see what else I have. So I also have this envelope here full of pages with embossed and debossed things. Um, and I'm just going to look for some papers that I have embossed because I did, I only had a few. So I'm just gonna take a look at what I have here. I was looking for some different colored paper and I don't know that I have that. I think I only did white um, wraps. I had wanted to have some coffee dye um, embossed paper. So maybe that's something that I have to do to add to my stash supply because I don't, I don't see it. I don't see any in here. No. Okay, so then what I think I'm gonna do is possibly take a piece of this, because this is more the color I was looking for, and I'll probably just have to glue it down on something and make it stronger. That is wallpaper, and I will be adding um, things to my shop very soon. I do have, um, you know, some of this wallpaper in supply. And then I did find the file folders. Um, I won't do that to you guys now because I'm not ready to put it into my shop. But I did find the file folders that I used the other day in the tall file folder book that we did. It was the um, Tiffany egg or egg, a Robin's egg blue. Um, and I will let you know before I put them in my shop, I'll let you know here so you, so my viewers have a chance to get it first. Okay, so I have some of those papers and we'll just add them to these papers here. So it's like all in that, like a very muted monotone color. That's what I'm going for today. And then I have red paint. I have my tape. I have my red ink that I was looking for last week that I couldn't find. <laughs> and I have some stamps here. You can go ahead and use whatever stamps you want. I did find my blocks. Um, I have some stamps from Makey here. Um, some of my favorite stamps, the bunnies. And um, we're just going to go. We're going to get started and see what we can get done. I have so also some scrap pieces of paper and some flint cards. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I do have them to the side. And I have some small stamps here, numbers and um, like these little square stamps that had letters and things on them. I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet with them, but I did pull them out. Just some, you know, different kinds of stamps with different things on them. So let's get started, shall we? So my, my idea is yet again to um, make some... Let's do this first so I can get them to dry. Now this is copy paper, so it's a little thicker than the wallpaper. So how about we take a piece of this and do the same thing with the wallpaper. And I'll just allow this to dry so that I have it um, when it comes ready nice to use it oh I also have this tiny little piece of quilt here I don't know if I'm going to use it or not but if you have any quilting stuff you could use that too so how is everyone I hope you are all well thank you for joining me for twisted tool Tuesday this is a lot of fun you guys um and I really I really am liking it and so are all of you <clears throat> if you like my video and comment um, and you subscribe to my channel, go ahead and share my video, um, you know, with others who might enjoy this kind of crafting as well to take out tools and use them, you know, not just all gluing and paper, <laughs> even though we like gluing and paper, I know gluing and paper is a lot of fun, but it's also fun to incorporate, um, all the things we have in our craft room, you guys, it's just, it's like, all this stuff is just sitting here, really. 
Um, I would, I, I mean, I often take a look around at my craft room and I say to myself, I kick myself in the butt because I wish I would have started so much earlier in life. Well, I did start earlier in life, but I wish I would have found this path earlier in life because I'm never going to be able to use all of this stuff in my lifetime left on this earth. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> and I, and sometimes I get sad about it because I have so much stuff and I just, I try to use it all. I don't, I do not buy anything anymore. So, you know, there is very rare occasions that I do. It has to be something that I absolutely know that I will never ever find again and I've always wanted. I, I absolutely do not buy anymore unless it's a supply that um, is, you know, the best possible price ever and I could possibly share with all of you um, and use and have enough for myself. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side now that I have taken these pieces and glued them on. They're just wallpaper, and all I did was um, secure them so that they're a bit stronger. Okay, and then we'll, we'll use them later. All right, now my next step. We're going to do the same thing. Um, get my, I'm going to get a piece of fabric here. Now, I'm not going to use large pieces of fabric like I did the last time with tags and things. Um, because we're not making tags. I'll show you what we're making in just a moment. I'm going to take off a nice piece of this hemp. And then, you know, if you don't have large pieces, don't worry. We're not working with large pieces today. I'm just going to take a piece like that. I don't know how many we're going to get to make of the things that I want to make, but we're going to try it out. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and take this. Well, I won't do this. Well, first we're going to fixate on this. Um, let's get our tape. So I'm going to put this down. And this is, again, kind of like the same I say too much. I took too much tape, you guys. The same thing that we did last week. Am I going to be able to? Yeah. I'll be able to get a line in there. I will. Okay. And then again, you can use the tape. Uh, you can use the paint. I don't know that we will. I'm going to I'm going to see how it goes. This is the ink, and I'm just going to ink my line in. It's easier with the ink. I didn't have to wait for it to dry so much last week. I should have gotten something to put under so that I'm not having to fight with the red ink on my table. Let me just grab a piece of copy paper. Hold on. Whoopsie. Okay, and I think I just want to do quite a bit more, make it a little bit more red. Okay, now remember, it's going to dry quick because it's just ink, but the problem with the ink on the tape is that it will spread. So maybe we'll go ahead and cut it. There, we'll, we'll do it about this size. We'll just make a few. Like I said, I don't know how many I'm gonna get to make today. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, I'll just cut it in half. And this is beautiful um, European hemp. So I'm. this is very nice fabric. I love it. So I gotta make these good. Don't want to waste them. 
<laughs> and now I'm gonna go over here and just I'm gonna I like it I'm liking the ink so I think I'm just gonna keep using it maybe we'll use the paint on something else and I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a wider line here <clears throat> take the red ink and just get it in there Going in back and forth into your ink is just it's just making it a little bit darker. Okay, let's go ahead and take that off now. And stuck to the paper this time, so there we go. And look how cute that's a tiny little piece of red tea of ticking well not ticking sorry the tea towels <laughs> sorry how cute it's a little tiny one okay and then let's keep going and of course I'm gonna I'm wasting all this tape here but you know what it's not waste because it's why I bought it to be honest let's do a large one right down the middle so I'm putting the tape on each side. That's not really large. We'll go, we'll do here. It won't, I guess it won't be right down the middle. That's okay. I want a large stripe. And this is a stipple brush. It's really hard. Um, it's kind of more for stencils but it's working fine for me today. And this ink is um, VersaClair. I think it's red, tulip red. When I was looking for reds last week, um, I didn't realize I remembered when I cleaned my craft room, I made my drawer bigger. So I spread apart my <coughs> ink excuse me, my ink into a few different drawers and I didn't, ha I haven't had the chance to label them. So of course I didn't know they were in there and neither did I check either. Ugh, look how adore, I love it. All right, let's keep going. This is so much fun. And <laughs> they're tiny little tea towels, mini tea towels towels <laughs> little mini, mini french tea towels just just have fun you guys oh i got red on my finger so i'm probably well i wonder if i could put it on there <laughs> i'm gonna have to definitely wash my hands because i don't want to carry it over into anything else Okay. Try to get it off on there first. Okay. That I think worked a little bit. Love it. I may want to do a thin line there. Let's do that. I'll do one tiny little thin line there. Oops, I went a little too big on my tape. A real thin one. And make it look really French. <laughs> so this is just getting your tools out and having fun. Hope I'm recording. I am. Okay, good. <laughs> Getting your tools out, you know, these things are just sitting in your drawers. Get some inspiration. And, you know, just think, you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be this theme. It could be something else. It could be USA theme. 
It could be the United States American flag theme. It could be your Canada flag theme. It could be your Ukraine flag, flag theme. It could be, you know, we're doing it in French. I We all like the French tea towels. We, we love our French things. But it could be any theme. Okay, now it's getting out of control. See that? Look how cute. Okay, let's get a new page. I'll just throw that away. We only have one more to do. Um, let's do the paint. Why not? We'll just do a little paint on here. And just so you guys can see, if you don't have any red ink, sometimes acrylic paint is easier to find. You know you can get it at the um, uh, dollar store. So possibly those of you that don't have some, I'm only going to use what's in the cap. Well, possibly those of you that don't have red ink or have the ink available to you or not the color and you have red paint, you can get it for a dollar, I'm sure, at the dollar store. You just go like this. And you can do it that way too. That you're gonna have to let dry though. So we'll let this dry a moment. And it's gonna work the same way, just be a different different type of color than the ink. Okay, now I did forget to take out my other ink that I'm using. I am gonna use a black ink too, I think you guys. I think so. So let me um, let me move this over to the side. Give me one moment. I need to wash my paintbrush, wash my hands, and then I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I just went ahead and, and I dried this a little bit, so I'm going to take this off now. I dried it with the little hand dryer. And we'll just set it aside. But I wanted to show you that that's what that looks like with the paint. I like the paint better, but the paint is, you know, sometimes it's messier on camera. And I and the ink looks faded, it looks washed, it looks like the French laundry or the tea tags or the tea towels were washed, so it looks a little faded. The this red looks a little bit more sharper. But I absolutely love them. Okay, I'll leave this I'll leave this on here. The rest of the paper because um, we're gonna be doing some stamping. So now, what am I doing? I'm skipping, I'm skipping, skipping steps. Okay, let's take a look at this fabric here. I wanted to open it up and, oh, maybe I could do it that, oh, look at I can. It's very old hemp too. Okay, so maybe I'll just, maybe I'm just going to use, now these are creased lines in here. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I had a plan, I had a thought. Now I'm having second thoughts, but I'm just going to go with it, okay? <laughs> I just am. This has a really deep crease in here, but it also looks stitched. So what I'm going to do is take this and rip it off. I could use that somewhere. I'll be happy with that using it somewhere. Okay, now I'm going to rip these. Well, it's not doing what I want it to do now, is it? Well, that one did. What happened? Oh, I see. It decided to rip along the folded line. That's okay, because I could use it. So that's when you have creases in fabric that, that that's that old, you guys, that's what happens. We're just going to make them into smaller things like this. This is fun um, ripping fabric and it also is fun um, stamping on fabric because we're going to do that next, you guys. So let's see. I have some large stamps here and then I have small stamps. So what I think I'm going to do is just take this. And um, should I use the red? 
maybe. Let's see. I can get it open. I'm going to stamp up the stamp. Maybe I should have did that first before I ripped it, but that's okay. I'm not bothered by it. I'm going to lay this together like this, two different pieces and textures, and I'm just going to lay my stamp down on it. There. Now I have some from there and some on there. And then maybe I'll do that again on this one. And I won't use this one again. We'll use a different one. I'll use the words. So I'll hold these off to the side. I'll use the words. Should I use black? I'm wondering. Let's try it. Hopefully it's juicy enough. I hope so. Let me see on paper first. Yeah, it'll work. I just gotta make sure I get enough on there. Sorry for banging. Okay, I think it got juicy enough on there. So now I'm gonna take these pieces, lay them down, and then I'm going to stamp over the half and half. Okay, so now I have a piece here and a piece here. And it's okay if some are blank, I'm fine with that. Um, I have a plan if I have to um, shush it up a little bit. Let me, let me take this words off here. And this is my favorite Makey Stamp little bunny. Let's do that. Oh, wait, but first, um, let's do this flower here. Oh, I never used this one. I'll do it in red. I could have done things in brown too. That's very monotone to what we're doing but I didn't pull it out, of course. I pulled out red and black. Okay, let's do that. We'll do it right there. Oh yeah, pretty. Okay. I just wanna clean this up off a little bit. All right, I like that. We could leave the strings on, but I'm gonna just cut them a little shorter. They're gonna string up again, don't worry. Okay, so now my next thought process would be, um, do I want any of this? Maybe I want some of this. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know if the, how well this rips. Let's give it a try. Oh, it rips good. Okay. So I'm going to do like just a few strips. And some more. I think that's enough. That should be enough. And then to have, oh wait, we have some of this too. Maybe we'll use some of this. Do I need that? I'm trying to think, hold on. Um, I don't know if I need that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, maybe some of this. I 
This is coffee dyed paper. It's very uh, sturdy. Coffee dyed paper. So that's fun if you have coffee dyed paper added into the mix of this stuff. There we go. And then let's take some of this embossed paper. Make it a little bit wide. I'm kind of not carrying the size. I'm just creating all different sizes of things, different widths. I'm leaving it not too long. I'm kind of basing it upon what I did at first with the fabric pieces I did at first. These. And then some might be longer. Like these I'll do longer. This is, um, you know, embossed paper, you guys. Just, I just took some paper and embossed it in the embossing machine. And I'm ripping it by hand. Okay, now how about this? I, I did this with you yesterday. Let's use some of it. I'm ripping it by hand. Whoopsie, didn't get the cut I wanted there, hold on. And I want to save it, so I think what I'm going to do is just glue it together because it ripped a little there. Or maybe I could just, I'll just glue that on the back. Why not? We're going to save it. I think I need a glue. I do. Empty. Just let that dry a minute. Let me go ahead and cut it. Doesn't matter, I could leave that hanging at the end or not. Or I can put it over. Just a piece of history, that's all. There we go. And then we'll use this side. The other side really is not done, so I'll just save that for something else. And then we have this. This is my digital, and then it's just some book page on the back, so I think I'm going to just divvy it up. First, I'm going to make some room on here. I just divide it into four pieces. Sorry if the table is shaking. And I'm, I'm going to rip it with the ruler. I'm going to rip it where I fold it with the ruler. I don't need anything in any kind of precise way. Okay, so you can see that my stuff's kind of piling up here. Maybe, um, let's see. I'll see. I don't know if I'm going to use those or not. And then we have some rag paper here. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Um, how do I want those? I don't know yet. Well, we're gonna we're gonna wait. 
Maybe I want them smaller. Maybe we won't wait. <laughs> Okay, we'll wait just a moment, just because I don't know quite what I'm doing yet. I really don't. I had an idea. I did. I had an idea. Let's get a bunny. Did I take the bunny out? What do I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to put this cap on here. I'm putting the bunny on here. Just, just for right now, I may put more bunnies on things. It is Easter. Cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Now I have all these pieces here. And I had my tray. I have my tray. Of things hmm. and I have where did it go? Here. I have some Tim Holtz pins in here. And some safety pins in here. I have some bulb pins, some rusted paper clips, um, some smaller uh, bulb pins. Oh, look how cute. Those little paper, um, clothes pins. Um, I have some metal charms. Um, I have a crown. We're, we're using up our little stuff, you guys. I have these little bells. I don't know how they'll work. We'll see. I have that little round thing. Okay. I have this little thing here too. What's this? A little piece of compilation of a button and some lace and some um, tool and some fabric. I think someone gave that to me. I think so. Okay. So I have these little things here. And we have our little French fabrics. And now we're just going to create if you haven't guessed it yet, we are making twisted tangles in a French type of theme. But I'm not 100% sure how I'm putting them together. I want to put them together in a different sort of way so that you can use them um, in your book. More of the twisted tangles are kind of like used as something to um, decorate a tab. Uh, um, excuse me, I have to take a sip of water. Um, a tag, a present, um, something like that. But these, I'm thinking they would be cute in your pockets and things, um, in your book, maybe just a compilation of a bunch of different things in the reds, oh, excuse me, <coughs> in the red, let me take a sip of water. In the red tea towel, tea towel format. Oh, that's a, that's a bad, and cut it with fabric scissor. I'm going to take this five and just cut it from, from the, the finch card. We can use that somewhere else. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll put that there. Give me one second. I'm looking for my little stapler. Well, I had my little Tim Holtz stapler. No, it's not in my cart, so I must have moved it. Or, unless it's hidden. Okay. Yeah, it's hidden. It's on the side. It was on the side. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of put these together. I don't really quite know how, but I'm just going to do it. I like that there. I liked this here like that. I love this binding this together. I love that. Maybe we'll use the punch hole thing and possibly what else did I have over here what about this maybe we'll put this back here too like that how pretty so yeah you have all this stuff on here how about fold this this way Oh. Hmm. So it's kind of like you have all these little reds and whites things in there. Isn't that darling? Now I think what I'm going to do is make a grommet hole. Do I want to put the grommet hole in the top? Maybe I'll do that. Oh yeah, so you can see everything. Let's do that. I'll do the grommet hole in the top. Now wouldn't this be so cute to look at in a pocket? Now I wish I had, I wish I had more of these and I don't, I could use those. I don't want to use the colored, I have colored ones. I don't want to use those. I went through all my supply of my large ones let me see. Oh, I might have a few white ones. Well, it looks like there's only one. There's only one white one in there. Let me get it. Let me see. That's white. Well, I did only see one white one. That's what I said, right? So, I got the white one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And imagine doing these for all different kinds of things. Oh, those aren't bulb pins. I thought those were bulb pins. They're not. I have to go and look because I really thought that I had more of these. Okay, where's my tool? We're going to use the larger side. I'm going to just... Let me get everything up at the top so it stays. I'm just gonna put this in here like this. Put this through like that. And then I'm gonna use the top and come down. Like that and it stayed back there and look how cute so we're using tools in our craft room but we're not done I mean we could do so many different things like I could take a pin what does it say shine like the stars how sweet and I could put this on here oh yeah this is why I like these pins but you know they always give trouble I just put this right in the fabric and put that on. So now in the pocket, you have all these little stuff on there. Isn't that cute? All right, let's move to the next one. Let's make another one because I don't really quite know what I'm doing. I do, but I don't. 
I had all this pretty stuff together and that's all I really wanted was to make, this is my idea, just something pretty and put it together. <laughs> Here's the one we taped up. So let's use a piece of the rag paper. We'll use another piece of that and We'll use a piece of the writing and we can use a piece of the writing. So we'll use a piece of the ticking. Hmm. Maybe we'll put the ticking behind it all. Like that. And we'll do the writing up at the top. And let's see. Well, these are so fun. Maybe I'll just cut this in half like that. Where's that? Should we get another five? Oh, maybe I'll put this on here. I'm just gonna glue that right, or staple it, staple it. And I'll just fold that right up like that. And that could go there. And now we're gonna combine all these things together and I'll figure out how I'm gonna put that on. Maybe I might staple it to the fabric. Okay, so let's get out a little grommet. And then we have the, the dark silver lead like ones left. I'm gonna put this hole in here. Put this through here. And clamp it. There we go, it's all stuck together. And then maybe this piece I will, hmm, yeah, maybe we'll make it a surprise so that we'll just, I'll just put it down here. What happened there? I don't like that there now. I really don't. I'll cut it off. And I'll just paper clip that down there like that. That's cute. We'll do that. So this is just more fun to have with painting and not just and the, making the French fabrics and little things in your books. Um, putting, putting little scraps, piece of papers together. Maybe this one will do. And then we'll take a piece of this. And then and we'll, we'll do this. And we'll put a bunny on there. Let's put a bunny. I remember that this paper sometimes really makes the ink bleed. Oh, it did well. You did well, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> okay. And maybe we'll just staple this down at the bottom. How about with a piece of flour? Oh yeah. Why don't we, let me think. We will paper clip this on to the side and then staple the bunny at the bottom. And this is just, guys, this is using up all your little doodads and stuff. <laughs> you guys got a lot of doodads, I'm sure, like I do. Okay, so that's like that. And then, where is, um? and you don't even have to use all of your tea towel that you made. You don't have to use all of it. You could use a piece, just a piece. And possibly, where'd those bulb pins go? Here, here's one. Possibly just attach it. Hmm, how would we do that? We'll just put it through. Now, I'm gonna put the little crown on here first. 
So I'm just gonna stick it through the whole thing. Poke it, poke it through. I don't even make a hole first with my grommet thing. I'm just poking it through. Oh, look how cute. Even though the bunny's upside down over there. Maybe I should have did it the other way, but I don't really care. I think it looks adorable. Okay, we'll go back and take a look at everything after. And so all this really is is just taking some of the stuff that you've been making and compiling it together in pieces. Let's see what we can do here quickly. We have this one, and then we have this one, and then we have this one. Maybe we'll put this here like that. Whoopsie. And then, hmm, oh, some book page. Maybe we'll stamp on that again. We'll put this bunny here like that. <clears throat> it's just fun play. But thinking more along the lines of using your your um, faux <laughs> grain sack fabric or your faux tea towel fabric and kind of making just like little cute compilations of paper. Now I'm gonna staple this. You know what? I think I'm not gonna staple it there. I think I'm gonna staple it on here. And then put that there. And then we can take I like this look, so I think I'm gonna do this on this one. Or is there enough left on here? See, I didn't even need all of the, what I took out. And I can make so many. I didn't take out a lot of stuff. I, I, I had like a pile of, you saw my pile of things. I think I'm gonna do that on the side like that. I like that. And, ooh, I have an idea, but wait. <laughs> Whoopsie, came out. It's okay. I'm going to put this back in here and get myself a new grommet. Make sure it goes through and put that on the back. You can see what I'm doing. And then put this on. Make sure they're straight. Okay, good. Like there, like there, like that. Maybe, I like that on there like that. For some reason, I feel like I used my fabric scissors the last time I cut the card. I feel like I did. <laughs> I don't want to feel that way, but I feel that way. All right, I'm going to staple this on here like that. And then wrap it around. And I think, do I have a rusted paper clip? I'll just put the rusted paper clip on here. Why not? Take out some of your stuff, you guys. Look how cute. It needs something up at the top. Something red. Or something. How about we just bunny it? We'll just bunny it. I think there's already a bunny in there, but we'll... Uh, maybe we'll just bunny it with that. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. All right, what did we have? Where are we at in our time? I know I, I know I paused the camera for a moment. Did I, did I make more? I had how many more? This? I just like putting stuff together, you guys. Fun stuff. Oh, this was our painted one. Now, you can also do silly things on it. Let's do that. Let's do a silly thing where, I mean silly, where it doesn't have to be um, the stripe. Like you can not do silly, but stamp on it. 
stamp stamp other things if you have stamps now now this is like from a planner stamp i think it had saturday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and of course now i got red all up in there and that's not what i wanted and i don't even think i have anything here let me grab a paper towel That comes from pressing too hard. So I'm just gonna try to clean this out just a little bit so that it doesn't get on my fabric. It might get on there a little. Okay, now I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to put it right on the white part. Is that a bigger one done? No, okay, I'm gonna put it right on the white part. Okay, Whew. I thought that was gonna be a catastrophe, but it didn't turn out so bad. Okay, so now we could just add this on there like that. And then, oh look, I have that, I never used it. Okay, what happened? I was did, I got into doing something else. Let's do that. And then let's put this the top like that I'm gonna do that yes I am go with the big thing the big grommet thing get a big grommet thing so just go in your stuff think of different themes I mean, think of Easter, think of Christmas, think of birthdays, think of um, whatever theme you're working on in your books and just compile some things together. Compile your book pages, compile your embossing, compile your stamping, compile your fabrics that we made the grain sacks, compile some ticking or some pretty floral fabrics or compile things together and create little little fun stuff. Hmm. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if we put that in? Ink and paint department. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can. So I just need to get those little things. I have these. Um, should we use brass? No. We'll just go ahead and use the hammer, the, the whatever, gunmetal gray that it already is. <clears throat> now I'm just going to hold it in my hand and put it through. So I'm gonna put one through this side. Come on now, there we go. And and one through this side. Hopefully it will go. I have to spin it because I crossed it open the wrong way. No big deal. There we go. Look how cute. I love it. Okay. I think that's kind of it. You guys get the hang of this. It's Twisted Tool Tuesday. Take out your tools, take out your paints, take out your inks, take out your paper, take out your stamps, and have some fun. Let's see what we can do. We'll do one more since we're here. Have some fun, you guys. Have fun. That's all, that's all you need to do is have fun. Let's put that at the bottom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna staple it on like that, and then I'll put that up there. And what else do I have? Oh, what about the little clothespin I said. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's take a little piece of this. 
and let's take the rest of these flowers somehow maybe I'm just gonna take one flower because I don't want it to, to compete compete so much there I'm gonna staple that love this little Tim Holtz thing <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this string because it's very stringy. The whole project is stringy. And then we will take this and use the little paper clip or clothespin. All right, something's missing in there and I don't really care for that. So let's see. Um, what else do I have? What if we do a stamp over the whole thing? Why not? Let's do it. Where's my plates? Let's do a bunny stamp over the whole kitten caboodle. Make sure you're the right way. And these stamps I got from Makey Stamps. That's M-A-K-I. They're out of Germany, so you can find them online, and you can also find them on Etsy. It's M-A-K-I, but I think they're pronounced Makey. Okay, so I'm going to just take this bunny and stamp it half on the top and half on the words. Cute. He's so cute. Maybe we'll do a number. Look at me, I'm going cray cray. What happened? Let's just do that. And then we'll go back and take a look at what we did. So, fun stuff. You guys like this kind of stuff. I'm happy that you do. I hope you like this project too because it is a lot of fun. Because now I have stuff to go and put into pockets in the books, you guys. Pockets. Look how cute. I love it. Okay. Let's take a look at all the stuff we made. So we have this. So cute. We have this. We have this. We have this. And don't let this stop you. If you wanted to do, you know, more stamping on here, numbers, well, we could do numbers. You can do, you can do so many things. You can do, look, the letter, you can do a letter. Here, I'll do a letter. Now, I'm not going to stamp it on there because it'll mess up my, what happened? I need new ink. Some is juicy, some is not. Hmm. Not really liking the way that came out now. That made me mad. That's okay. It's still pretty. So we have a slight faint of a pee there. And then we have this one. And we have this one. So not bad for our makes today. I like it. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. So I'll put pictures in at the end of the um, video so you guys can see that. And thank you for joining me for Twisted Tool Tuesday. I will see you guys. Well, and it's also day 31 of the craft of the 100 Day Craft Project. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day 32. And it's Wednesday. And we're going to get into um, some ephemera making. So stick with me, you guys. We're like, we have 70 more days or 20. Go oh, wait. 69 more days left to go all right bye for now my crafting buddies thank you for joining me hi i just wanted to add this in on the end when i was taking pictures and cleaning up and doing everything because i have the all these little cute little things um i realized i didn't use this so maybe tomorrow we'll use it in some journaling cards with some of the things i have left okay so i i'm so sorry i forgot to use it i left it over there to dry and never brought it back all right see you again tomorrow bye guys